This is the Vanpo Digital Torque Wrench, and I'm gonna tell you why I think this is really good. And I just wanna let you know that Vanpo did send me this unit for review. However, they didn't tell me what to say, so my opinions are completely my own, and I've tested a lot of torque wrenches over the years. This goes from 12 pound-feet to 250 pound-feet. And yes, it does have a digital gauge over here. I'm gonna show you how this works. It comes with two AA batteries and this little coin, which is actually not worth anything, which you can pop out to put the batteries in here like so and it does come calibrated from the factory so you can see that it is actually very accurate let me show you some of the features here so it's very cool that you can actually change the settings uh, for the different values so for example i've got it in foot pounds right now but you can change it to kilogram centimeters you can change it to newton meters inch pounds and so forth so it's extremely versatile and also the range of this so it says it is from 17 newton meters to 200 340 newton meters that's about 12 uh, foot pounds to about 250 so it goes over a pretty wide range it's also got a memory feature so you can set it up for different vehicles so i think you can put in i think 15 different settings so i've got this set to you can see number one i got it set to 88 uh, foot pounds, which is going to be for this vehicle. I'm going to show you in just a second. Here's the second setting. I got it set to 50 and so forth. So that's a pretty nice thing. Another nice thing, too, is that when you are done using the unit, you don't need to twist it down to relieve the torque like you do on a conventional torque wrench. All you do is just turn it off and the torque is now reset. So when you turn it back on, that's it. That's all you need to do to get going. So let me show you how this thing works. I'm going to do this twice. This has an audio warning that's telling you when you're getting close to the, des the desired value. So I can see it's going up here, 15, 17, so forth. It's going to go, I'm going to get some audio and I'm going to get a colored LED. So 50. Okay, it should be a peak value of 88. You can see it going up. There we go. In addition to peak value, you can also set it to a tracking value. So I hold this button down, move the node, and now it's in the tracking value, which means that you're gonna be able to see your pressure, your torque that you're applying across your movement. This could be helpful if you're working on something that has a lot more uh, rotation, perhaps something like a truck wheel, something like that. So this is also going to be really useful if you own an off-road vehicle like a Jeep or something else like that, which you're going to have a lot higher torque values than you are for a passenger car like this. And the whole thing comes with a very nice box with a couple of clasps on it, so you're not going to accidentally drop it out because these clasps are sort of locking. And you got instructions that comes with it too. 